Howdy, y'all. Okay, today I'm going to do another cartridge conversion revolvers video. What we have here is a Curse conversion gated 1851 Navy Pieta cylinder and a 2000 BN marked 2000 Pieta frame. Gun I'm working on for a customer. You'll notice that the cylinder goes in and turns freely and that the ring comes really close here and it fits the frame really well. Curse instructions include a note on how to file this foot, which is was the patented part, patents expired, in order for it to fit the frame. If you slide this on and it doesn't go all the way home, foot's too tall. If you slide it on and the cylinder binds when you turn it, foot's too tall. You'll notice if you look here, this frame after they shell mill this cut, which is curved, they've gone back in a production method and take the sharp edge off, but they didn't go all the way back. See right there? So that spot right there is problematic. That raises the foot. You can touch that up with a file. It's probably still going to need to file the foot too. You can tell after you've slid it on a couple of times where it's marking. You can see there, I've got to go back and clean this up and sand it. This is just a fitting stage. Now, Walt's parts don't fit. Curse's parts don't fit the later guns properly. This frame has been the casting or the machining of these frames has been changed by Pieta. The foot no longer touches the frame back here, and that allows this ring to wiggle back and forth. Let's see if I can emulate it like this. Typically, that's not a problem unless when it moves, it moves enough that the hammer can hit that shoulder there in that projection. And if it does that, then that needs to be corrected. So in a, in a basic installation, if your ring wobbles a little bit, as long as it doesn't cause a problem, you're good to go. If it does cause a problem, if the hammer strikes it, then, then that, that's addressed in the installation. I'm going to start offering to my customers a deluxe installation where I go in and put pins in the bottom of this ring. Most people are going to not opt for it. It's not really necessary. It's more of a more of a problem for somebody who's very anal most of the time. Curse hasn't addressed it and it's been that way for a few years now. The uh, the cut that I make, the ball mill cut that I make, I take the time to make sure it's exactly correct to the best of my ability, depending on where this ring sits in the frame. And in the newer guns, because the shoulder's different, Curse is cutting through what I call the shoulder of the grip. So your grip comes up to this in an angle. There's a round part back here. This is the shoulder on the frame. Curse is cutting through that and you'll see a lot of people online that do their own cuts, they cut through that. On the 44, because it has to be cut deeper for the larger rim, it's real hard to stay away from that. What I've done is I've changed my angle of my cut some, and then I also cut it shallower, and then when I do my final finishing, I go in at an angle like this and, and work it to get rid of this corner right here and to, to change the angle of that. It's not visible, but it makes a difference in loading and unloading the gun, which you can't do unless you cut it deep enough to cut into that shoulder. That's all part of my basic install too. Uh, like everyone knows, and like I tell everyone that I talk to, it takes the time to talk. It doesn't just want to text. Um, you have a 100% guarantee with my work. So, so even if something you do down the road causes a problem, 
I'll take care of it. I may have you buy the parts, but I'll do the fix. I want my customers to be happy. And I've got 30 years of that happiness behind me. In 30 years, I think I've had three customer complaints. I, I'm not a psychiatrist, never claimed to be. I don't fix bipolar. It's not on my list of services. So there's you, a basic install. That's what you get for $125. Well, no, actually you get all the fit and finish work. You get the timing work and you get an 11 degree forcing cone cut, which helps tremendously with accuracy. Y'all have a great day.